Hi guys! Um, my name is Megan Lawson. Um, I've tried to upload this video like 10 times and it just it won't upload. So I'm hoping this time is the time. Anyhow, I just got finished reading this lovely little book right here. Um, at first I found it a little hard to read because I've never had a philosophy class. Um, my brother takes a lot of philosophy classes and you know, he always throws these questions about God and afterlife and so on at me and you know so but I've never actually had a real class so I have my note cards or I have note cards with questions on them that I really wanted to answer so if you see me looking down that's why because I don't want to forget anything important so the first question I'm going to go over is does God owe us anything I feel like if you go to church and you pray to him and you look for him to lead you in the right direction and you honestly think that he leads you in the right direction and he helps you through everything then I don't feel like he, he owes you anything you know if you honestly believe that then he's already there and doing stuff for you and you know if anything you owe him something you know you owe him to believe in him to follow in the right footsteps that he set for you so no, I don't believe that he owes us anything. After life, this was a hard thing for me to learn, especially you know when I was younger. I thought that you just died and you got buried and you rot. But as you grow up, you realize that that's not what happens. As you go to church and you learn different things, and after life is one of those that I truly believe in. If you go to church and you do the right things and you know you repent when you make mistakes because everyone makes mistakes so we're all human then I feel like you will go to heaven and if you don't then I feel like you will go to hell and you will spend your life with toil and torment and that leads me actually to my next topic which is um when Miller says a lot of uh, life of short and to a toil and torment sorry I can't talk um and you asked if we thought that life is that I think life is short people die young every day and I you know and it's sad because you have so much to live for and you have so many things that you can accomplish and do in life but toil and torment toil and torment I don't think so you know maybe in your afterlife when you're living in hell if you you know choose to go down that path and do bad things but as you're here, I don't feel like it's toil and torment. My life isn't it. You know, even if you're homeless, there's always a positive. You know, you wake up and you're breathing, the sun's out, or whatever it may be, as little as it may be. You, there's still something good. I don't think that life is fully torment, or you know, I don't think anyone could live in it. And the last thing I want to talk about was the quote at the end, was the uh, quote from Gretchen at the end when she was talking about philosophy and if you learn a lot of it then you question religion. I do believe in that because um, you know philosophy is about you know asking questions to yourself that you know most people don't ask a question that's difficult and hard to answer that you actually have to think about you know you know things about God, things about the afterlife that you can't really explain but as you think about them then you make your own opinions and your own assumptions and that really you know it can really take a toll on your religion and your faith but you know and the last thing she said that her husband said she was a pain in the neck because she learned all of philosophy I feel like that too I feel like because my brother's a pain in my neck because every time I say something you know he's throwing questions back at me you know well, what if you know, what if this happened? What if that happened? What if, you know, think about it this way? And it, you always kind of rethink your opinions and you kind of stand back and you have a different standpoint on things. So that's all I wanted to answer. You know, I really enjoyed reading everyone else's stuff and I hope that you guys enjoyed mine. Thank you. Bye.